Hey, what's good, 10K gang? Now, today's video, I'm going to be talking about Ashton Hagens. Now, if you don't know who Ashton Hagens is, basically, he's originally a point guard from class of 2019. He's a five-star point guard. He's ranked 18th, and he's number one in the state of Georgia. Now, as you can see, just a couple of hours ago, Ashton Hagens basically decommitted from his college, University of Georgia. He committed to this college last year in December. And also, he's reclassifying to the class of 2018. So I just want to talk about Ashton Hagen and just give you guys my opinion on the crazy news that's happening right now. And also, you guys, right in the middle of me recording this video, Ashton Hagen's decided to stay in class of 2019. So he will not be reclassifying in 2018. But I'm still going to keep it in this video just to tell you guys and, you know, show you guys how he could classify to 2018. Now, first, just seeing Ashton Hagen's decommit from Georgia Bulldogs basketball. I'm not really shocked, but back in December when it was time for him to commit to his college, I was shocked that he picked Georgia Bulldogs over University of Kentucky because honestly, in my opinion, I think he should go to University of Kentucky and play under John Calipari because Kentucky wanted him for a long time. Even though he had different offers such as North Carolina, Texas A&M, Auburn, FSU, you know, he has a lot of different offers, but Kentucky and Georgia Bulldogs were the two biggest colleges that he was looking at. Also, as you can see, he's now reclassifying to class of 2018 when he's originally a 2019 player. Now, I know a lot of people just confused about that. Like, how is he reclassifying and all that stuff? What, he can just graduate high school early if he wants to? No, this is how reclassifying works. Basically, high school is all about credits, right? So if you have enough credits, man, you can leave high school early. I'm not gonna say every high school lets you do that just because there's a lot of high schools that be picky about that. You can even have the most credits, but when your senior year comes, they'll just make you take like two or one classes and you can just leave school early or something like that. But as you can see, it's different for Ashton Hagens just because he's an athlete. He's a five-star athlete and he has his credits. So basically he's reclassifying to class of 2018 just because he have his credits. He already took the classes he needed to take. And I know these colleges want him now. And on top of that, he's reclassifying. So I really feel like he's going towards University of Kentucky now just because he wants to play under John Calipari. Players that go to Kentucky are known for going there to be one and done and going to the NBA. Not just Kentucky, different schools and stuff like that. But Kentucky is one of the main schools that a lot of players go and be one and done. And Ashton Hagen is a five-star athlete. He has a lot of potential. I know he has the potential to be one and done. So just seeing him leaving high school early just to go to college, I already know his goal is to get to the NBA. That right there can already show you that his goal is to get to the NBA. He's just not just trying to go to college just to play college ball. No, he's trying to go to college to dominate and also make it to the NBA. And just watching Ashton Hagens, in my opinion, he's an outstanding point guard. Whatever school he goes to and land on, you know, I feel like he will make a major effect for whatever school he be on just because he is an outstanding leader, man. Watching Ashton Hagens, he know how to set up his teammates. He know how to get his teammates wide open. He will score the ball if he have to. He's 6'3", 175 pounds. So, you know, he got a little size on him. And also, he's just a leader. I think that's the main thing why a lot of colleges want Ashton Hagens because just watching his game, he always involves his teammates. He's not selfish. And he just know how to take over the team. He's not scared in clutch moments. He will take over the entire game game i see the potential through this kid because i know if he keeps working on his game and he keeps working hard i know he's going to get somewhere and i also know that he will make it to the nba if he keeps working hard i see wessel westbrook through this kid for some reason every time i see him play i just see wessel westbrook because he just you know he knows how to involve his teammates but he's not selfish also he he will score the ball if he needs to he can do everything that's what i like about ashley hagan he grab boards he just do everything and it's really crazy because it's just like i never seen a high school athlete that i really compared to wessel westbrook and just seeing Ashton Hagen's play, he's the only person that I honestly ever compared to Wessel Westbrook. This kid is something special, you guys, but I'm not 100% sure what school he's really looking at now to go to and stuff like that. Like I said, in my opinion, he should go to Kentucky just because back in December before he even committed to Georgia, Kentucky and Georgia were the two schools that he was choosing between and he chose Georgia. So as you can see, he decommitted from Georgia. Now it's just like, I feel like he's going to Kentucky, but I could be wrong, but we just got to sit and watch and see what school he goes to. I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you press that notification button. Take a game. We out.